here is my what I packed versus what I wore to Alaska. Um, I will say that I was worried about overpacking and I kind of feel like I ended up underpacking as a result of that. I ended up wearing every single thing at least once. Some things I ended up wearing twice. I ended up having to do laundry on the ship. So um, don't make that same mistake. Um, but anyway, um, for boarding day, um, what I ended up doing was just because Seattle was a little bit warm, it was probably about 76 degrees. Um, I wore capri jeans um, that I figured I could, you know, rewear if I needed to um, with just a tunic top. And I only brought one cardigan sweater, figuring that I would um, use it for multi purpose and rewear it with different things. So I love a good chunky sweater. This is a loft chunky sweater. Um, it's super warm. It's a neutral color. It goes with everything. So that's that's what I ended up doing. Um, I actually paired this with um, pretty much everything that I brought for like long sleeve shirts. But this was, there were two formal nights um, on our seven night sailing to Alaska on Royal Caribbean anyway. Um, they call them dress your best nights now, not formal nights. Um, so this was one of my outfits. This actually, worked out really well because um, this cocktail dress with the lace um, overlay actually doesn't wrinkle. It packs really, really well. Um, but I wore this with a sweater that worked out pretty well for one of the nights. The other night, what I ended up doing was just a pair of black dress pants with a blouse. It's just a crepe blouse. And again, this packed really well. Uh, there was no need to have anything pressed or worry about sticking it in the bathroom for steaming. So that, you know, I'm all about ease, right? Janice knows me. She knows I'm all about making things as easy as possible. Um, so on top of that, I ended up bringing two pairs of jeans. Um, one is a much looser fit. Um, I was thinking instead of thermals, I brought three pairs of leggings to use as thermals. Um, these are actually Old Navy leggings. Um, they are compression leggings and they were super comfortable. Um, I don't typically wear leggings because I don't think leggings are pants. Um, and especially after you reach a certain age, my age to be exact, <laughs> I don't wear leggings in public by themselves. But these actually worked out really well under um, jeans on excursion days. Um, they also worked out really well um, under these pants that I brought, which are, I bought a couple pairs um, similar to this, but this is made out of like a water resistant material. So it rained a lot this week. So the people that were on the sailing the week before us, um, they said it was 70 and sunny the entire time they were in Alaska. Like it was great weather, they said. For us, it was kind of the opposite. It was um, not temperature wise, like not terrible. It was maybe between 50 to 60 degrees, most of the ports we went to. But because of the rain and the wind, um, it just felt like really cold, comparatively speaking. And so um, wearing these pants when we were out doing excursions was kind of a lifesaver because um, it kept my legs dry, which was great. So these pants are, again, they were, I just got them from Old Navy. Um, they were super comfortable. They worked out really well. Um, these other ones that I'm wearing, um, I actually bought these off of Amazon. Same idea. Um, and it's a water resistant, quick dry material. But I love these more than the Old Navy ones because it has pockets. It has tons of pockets, pocket in the thigh, and they're zippered pockets, right? So I'm always worried about stuff falling out, um, doodads and things. And so it has zippered pockets everywhere, including in the back. These are a pair of full length ones that I bought and I am currently wearing a pair of Capri versions of the same exact one. Um, I also brought a pair of um, dark tighter fitting jeans because for dining room at night, like a lot of times coming back from excursions, the excursions were full day excursions. So we were basically running right onto the ship um, from the end of our excursion, dumping things off in our room and then taking off pants that had mud and rain on them and basically try just doing a quick change before heading to the dining room for dinner. So a pair of dark jeans was more than acceptable because the majority of the nights on the ship were casual dress nights. So that was perfectly okay um, for dinner. I did bring um, a bunch of shirts, four only, um, to wear as layering pieces under fleeces. 
greetings from New Hampshire. So clearly we're novices at this because um, the first part of the video was filmed in our cruise ship cabin. This one is being filmed back home. Um, I think where the last video stopped recording, we didn't realize it stopped recording. Um, I was showing you shirts. Um, so I had packed four long sleeve shirts for the trip. I had also packed some short sleeve shirts for the trip. So I packed three just cotton short sleeve shirts and a couple of the moisture wicking short sleeve shirts um, to wear as layering pieces under a whole bunch of fleeces that I had packed. Um, so these were super great for layering um, because when you're waiting inside it gets really warm um, so it's nice to kind of be in sort of the just the t-shirt layer on the ship where they have the heat kind of blasting and then kind of as you're getting ready to get off the ship it's good to um, put on something like this that is warm so I had some that had collars some that didn't have collars um, different colors I ended up wearing all of these and it worked out pretty well <clears throat> and as you can hear I have been feeling a little under the weather since we returned um not COVID just a regular cold or flu or something after our travel so I do recommend still using masks um, if you are in enclosed spaces with people during your trip um so that's it for tops what else did I have? Oh, glacier viewing day. So I did pack one pair of fleece lined leggings. Um, these were really warm and great to wear just to kind of roll out of bed, throw them on, um, along with a huge, this is kind of an oversized, just almost like a blanket uh, fleece uh, to wear very cozy on the morning of the glacier viewing. It was actually only about 38 39 degrees um, but it felt a lot colder especially when you're sitting out there i think they said that we were going to be entering um what is it endicott arm dawes glacier is the one that we went to see so we started entering around six o'clock in the morning we got to the glacier viewing area around 6 45 a.m so it was really early really cold so it was nice to be able to have something cozy to sit out on the balcony with while we ate our breakfast and drink our um, coffee and tea and all that kind of stuff along with the warm clothes we packed some wool socks uh, these are only calf length wool socks I do regret not bringing my knee length ski socks my smart wools that I usually use when I go skiing um, I feel like that would have been better for this trip just because it would have um, uh, kept me I think a little bit warmer um, my ski socks the the wool smart wools that I have that are knee high are also compression socks so I feel like it would have um, helped with circulation as well during those long excursion days for shoes what I packed was um, two pairs of waterproof shoes so one is just a pair of keen um, waterproof hiking shoes these are really comfortable uh, to wear. I've had them for a few years now. I probably should be looking to buy a new pair, but these, I just love them so much. I don't want to get rid of them. Um, these Sperry Duck Boots I bought specifically for this trip after um, watching a bunch of other packing videos and hearing people rave about how comfortable they were. And um, quite honestly, they were super comfortable. Um, as soon as I bought them, I started walking around in them. They have like a memory foam lining on the inside. They're very, very comfortable. They kept my feet very warm very dry um, and I wore these you know six seven eight hours a day uh, with a lot of walking intensive shore excursions and uh, never had any issues I also ended up buying a pair for Rena. she has a pair of um, regular rain boots and um, she had tried these on because I asked her if she was interested in getting a pair and um, after she tried mine on my feet are bigger than hers um, we ordered a pair for her and she ended up um, she did bring a pair she has a pair of Columbia waterproof hiking shoes uh, she only wore these on the plane ride out to Seattle um, and never wore them after that because as soon as she wore the duck boots for the first excursion that we had um, she basically wore those uh, every day that we had an excursion after that so um, that's that for waterproof shoes for other shoes I did bring a pair of um, just simple black New Balance sneakers um, these were lightweight to pack very comfortable to wear just around the ship 
um, when we weren't doing excursions or wanting to use the walking track, um, stuff like that. I did not pack any heels. I just packed black flats um, to use as dress shoes uh, for both of the dress your best nights with the black pants and the dress. I mean, it, you know, was it the greatest look? No, but they were comfortable and they kind of fit the bill um, for what I needed. I also brought a pair of Crocs to wear uh, to the pool, to hot tub actually. The pools were open uh, on our ship and I was actually surprised the outdoor pool was heated. Uh, they did have indoor pools as well, which did not seem to be heated, but the outdoor pool was heated. But uh, it was nice to use the hot tub actually uh, on some of these uh, shore excursion uh, days. So I would recommend bringing a pair of shoes that you can, you know, kind of throw on wear to the pool. These were also helpful for uh, just in the morning heading out to the balcony uh, because with the rain, uh, it was wet. So it was a nice way to keep my feet and socks dry. Um, so that's it for shoes. Um, what am I missing, Rini? Oh, pants. So Rena actually, so I know we talked about like the pants that we brought. Rena actually, I had bought these pants for Rena. These are kind of like uh, ski pants, sort of. They're made of a waterproof material on the outside and they are completely fleece lined on the inside. I bought these off Amazon just because I knew she needed something that would help protect uh, from the rain. She ended up wearing these pants with leggings underneath pretty much every single shore excursion day uh, just because they were warm and comfortable. They kept her dry and and she's looking to buy um, a couple extra pairs of pants. So I will send you a link to these because I think that these would be probably a good idea to have something like this that you can kind of pull on over something else while you are out there. So for accessories, I did pack a hat. Um, even though it wasn't very sunny, it was helpful to have something that you could kind of put on your head and then with the rain, um, with the hood of my raincoat, be able to put that over so the rain didn't fall directly on my face, but kind of fell over the bill of the hat. So that was helpful. Um, a must is a super high quality raincoat. This thing saved me multiple days when it was pouring rain for six to eight hours. This one's an Arctic Gore-Tex raincoat. And after six hours of pouring rain, even this was starting to get rain uh, seeping into it. So we had also packed disposable ponchos. So this was helpful to have, to be able to throw on over anything that you're wearing and protect backpacks fanny packs, whatever it is that you're, you know, schlepping around with you on a shore excursion day. Um, in addition to that, I also packed a lightweight packable uh, jacket as another layering piece. Uh, this one I like just because it folds up really nicely. It, it packs down actually quite nicely. Um, it was especially nice to when some of my outer layers would start to get damp to be able to pull this one out of uh, a waterproof backpack that we had brought with us for shore excursions and to throw this one on uh, during the bus ride to get back to the ship to keep nice and warm. I did pack a hat, just one. This one's a turtle fur. Um, it's just a regular wool cap. There's nothing fancy about it, but it's child size hat because I have a freakishly small head for an adult body. So it's the only one I could find to hit, fit my head. Um, two pairs of gloves. Just this was a backup pair that I packed. It's just plain fleece gloves. Uh, these are kind of the fancier ones that have the little tip so that you can actually use your smartphone devices. Um, this worked out really well to have two pairs of gloves because one day when my regular gloves ended up getting soaked, I was thankful to have a pair of dry backup gloves to use. Um, so that's wearable accessories that I took. Um, I did bring a pair of sunglasses, uh, which was useful on the days when there were patches of sunshine, not all the time. We did have some people that were doing back to back uh, on our sailing and they said the previous week. There was 70 degrees and sunny weather pretty much every single day. Every single port that they went to was just gorgeous weather. That was not our experience, but just in case it ends up being yours, I would definitely recommend packing sunglasses. Also, if you're going to be staying in Seattle at all, either before or after your trip, uh, Seattle is sunny, even though um, I've heard that it rains a lot there. So I would recommend uh, using packing sunglasses that is. Um, we had also packed umbrellas 
these are just two. We ended up packing five umbrellas for the four of us and it actually turned out to be a good thing because one of our umbrellas was busted um, and we ended up having to throw it out while we were there. Um, another thing that I definitely recommend packing in terms of accessories is binoculars. We have small, medium, large um, here, you know, okay quality up to highest quality. We packed a pair of binoculars, four pairs of binoculars actually, so that everyone in the family would have the opportunity to use a pair if they wanted. We also packed a monocular, which attached to our iPhones as well, because we do tend to use our iPhones to take pictures and videos and things a lot. So um, that was helpful to, to have. I would definitely recommend if you're gonna buy anything like that, that you play around with it at home before you go on your trip and don't try to learn how to use it during your trip like we did. Um, so we have pictures that we took that have kind of a ring around them and things like that, that you know we could have maybe avoided doing had we actually played around with it before we left. Um, some of the other accessories that we packed, a map of the Alaska Inside Passage, um, it was really nice to be able to put this up on the walls. We used our magnetic hooks to kind of hang it up there and actually follow along and see where we were, what was around us as we were kind of sailing up the passage. Um, so one other thing we brought were toe warmers and hand warmers, which were helpful to have. Um, my feet get really cold, so even with the wool socks and the duck boots, um, it was nice to have the toe warmers to kind of attach um, and keep my toes extra toasty. The hand warmers were really nice to have because we can't bring heating pads on the cruise ship for electrical, and so um, these actually became impromptu heating pads uh, for Reno when she was having issues with her hip. So um, that was helpful to have. Another thing that we brought is emergency. Um, if you're going to bring it, then use it. I did not. I normally drink, uh, you know, an emergency pretty much every day leading up to a trip and then every day during a trip. I did not do that this time. And if you can hear from my voice, I'm a little under the weather. I did get sick after we returned, not COVID. Um, but I would definitely advocate for either using something like this leading up to the trip, during the trip, um, and after the trip, or uh, masking up when you're in a crowded environment. Something else that uh, we had brought that we did not end up using are these compression packing bags. Um, I had heard that it was helpful when you have kind of big clothing to put them in these packable compress compression bags um, and kind of, you know, roll them up and get all the air out and um, it saves space in the suitcases. Uh, we were so worried about overpacking that we didn't pack as much as we thought we were going to. So our packing cubes uh, contained everything that we needed and we didn't actually end up using um, these bags. Um, I think that's it in terms of what we packed in terms of things I wish we had packed. Um, I know Rena mentioned she wishes she packed a neck warmer um, because a lot of times with the rain falling, with the way that uh, we were dressed, not having turtlenecks and things, um, her neck would get cold from the rain um, and the wind blowing on that. I have these uh, L.L. Bean rain pants um, similar to, to the ones that I bought for Rena off Amazon for significantly cheaper, but I did not pack these. Um, so I did not have a pair of waterproof pants to kind of pull on over everything. So I did have water resistant pants, but uh, I do regret not packing these and having them with us. Something else I wish we had packed, uh, you know, like I mentioned, we use the uh, hand warmers as kind of makeshift heating pads. Uh, the Thermacare wraps uh, next time if we, uh, we will be going back to Alaska someday because it was absolutely beautiful. All of us loved, loved, loved everything about this trip. I think hands down the family voted it our favorite trip of any, any trip that we've ever been on um, up to this point. Um, I think the Thermacare uh, heat wraps would have been good to have because we're not used to the level of activity um, that we partook in during the trip and um, also just like the hiking, the walking, like all of that just for hours, right? So um, I was feeling pretty sore um, some days. The hot tub was nice, but uh, you know, it's nice sometimes just overnight when you're sleeping to be able to put on one of those wraps and um, have that heat kind of soothe aching muscles. Um, other than that, I think that covers like what I packed versus what I wore. Rena packed very similarly um, to the way I did. 
Um, she did pack a pair, a, a couple pairs of shorts. Um, I don't typically wear shorts, so I packed some capri pants for that reason. I don't think she ended up wearing the shorts while we were on the trip, but we did hear from the people the previous week that it was uh, warm enough and sunny enough for them to be wearing shorts and t-shirts. So um, I would recommend packing, you know, maybe one pair of shorts and a t-shirt just to have available. Um, and then I will see what I can do about getting a video made for menswear. Um, so that you can see what Cole packed for himself. And I think that about does it.